All right, lesson number one, we talk about what is day trading. And in this lesson, we're gonna learn what are binary options. We're gonna start with binary options, then we're gonna talk about Forex and so on, but I need you to dominate both of the fields. Binary options is an industry that was actually, uh, became popular around 2011, 2012, mostly in Cyprus uh, and Israel, uh, in Bulgaria and some of the countries in Europe and Asia. And then they, they, they became popular in the United States and, and many countries in the world. But the tricky part is that binary options is almost banned and all over the world. It's banned in the United States, it's banned in Europe and many countries in the world. I'm going to teach you exactly how they work, uh, even though it's banned in most of the world. And I'm going to tell you exactly why it was banned. So in the previous video, I briefly explained you how it works. So here, I'm gonna explain you a lot better. How does it work? And let me go ahead and draw a few candlesticks in order to show you this. All right, so this is, like my idea of a chart, right? And binary options work the following way. You will need to buy options whether the price is going to drop or is going to fall. How do we do it? In the broker, and I'm gonna show you my screen later on, in the broker, you're gonna find two buttons that says call and the other one that says put. Usually the call is green and the put is red. The put is the red candles and the call is the green candles. So how is it that it works? Each candle has a time frame. Uh, you set it up on your broker or on your trading charts, but these candles can be uh, from one minute, two minute, five minute, and so on. Four hours, one week, whatever you want. Let's assume that each of these candles is five minutes. That means that each candle represents five minutes. If I want to enter a call position and I enter on this candle right here, where this candle, let's say where this candle finishes, or let's say right here, I enter for a call position and you enter for 15 minutes. That means that this is one candle, this is two candles, and this is the third candle where the 15 minute expire, right? So here is the expiry. Did I win it or did I lose it? If I enter here and it closed right here, it's a loss, right? But let's say that for the next candle, I enter here for a put for 15 minutes. If you notice, this is one candle, two candle, and three candles. That means that the price, I started right here, and it closed right here. So it means that this is a win. As simple as that. Why? Because you enter a position for a certain amount of time. You don't enter for, oh, the price is gonna drop and I'm gonna close it anytime I want, like you, you would do with Forex or, or with CFDs. With binary, it sets an expiry time. So this is the expiry time within 15 minutes. You can set it up for one minute, for two minutes, for three minutes, for five minutes, for 15 minutes, for one hour or whatever. I'm just giving you the example for 15 minutes. But let's say that I enter this same candle, this same order right here, but I enter for a call for 30 minutes. That's six candles, right? So we go with one, two, three, four, five, six candles right here. This is where they trade over. I lost it, right? What happens if I decided to go with a call on 60 minutes? I don't know if I still have enough candles though, but let's see. Uh, it would be a total of, how much? 12 candles, yeah, I'm not gonna have that. 
So let's say 45 minutes, so I can give you the example. Because uh, you could do 45 minutes too. So 45 minutes. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is where it expired at this point right here. So that means that if I enter here, it jumped all the way over here. So this is a win. So you can set it up for as much time as you want to and your broker allows you to, but you get my point, right? You get the point. This is exactly how binary options work. And here's the most important thing that you need to know about binary options. The payout is way different than with Forex. And in order to explain you the payout, let me, let me put it this way. With binary options, you enter, um, you win a fixed price. What do I mean by fixed payout is what it is. Fixed payout means that you can win a percentage if you win and you lose a percentage if you lose. That percentage depends on the pair and the broker you're using. For example, you can get a 70% payout. And in binary options, you always lose 100% of the trade if you lose. What does that mean? That means if I enter a $10 trade, if, I, if you win, you get a 75% payout, which is 750. So you get in, in return 1750. But if you lose it, you get minus $10. So if you notice in binary options, when you start, when you risk, you risk $100, but the payout, it's, it varies because it varies from 60 to 95% in the, uh, if the payout if you win it. Uh, some brokers even give you 10, 20% payout. It really depends and you should avoid any percentage that is lower than 70%. Um, so this is how the payout actually works. How do you determine if you win or lose a trade? This is the way. If you enter at this level and you finish this uh, below, even one single pip, you lose the money. Okay? In the next video, uh, we're going to talk about Forex and you're going to notice the huge difference between getting payout in binary options than getting payout in Forex. So I hope that makes sense. I'll see you in the next lesson.